close to the airport because I'm going to Edinburgh for the weekend so I thought I'd vlog some of it and take you along with me. My mum's dropping me in. Where am I going mum? Edinburgh. I'm going to, I can't do it. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Um, so yeah, I'm on the way to the airport. I'll take you along with me and let's see how we get on. tour of my little home away from home for the weekend. This is basically one of um, Edinburgh's youth hostels, but it's not just any hostel huns because it's basically um, uni accommodation that they've rented out over the summer. So it's right in the middle of the town centre, got a decent sized bed, lovely desk, like loads of sockets, nice storage, it's got an ensuite. Like, I'm sorry, but this is miles better than any hostels I've ever stayed in before. Like, look at the size of this shower. Like, it's bigger than the one I've got at home. But yeah, um, hello, there I am. So, um, and it was a bargain. It was like 46 quid a night. And yeah, it's perfect. Got nice little walls for the gram. It's got everything I need. So yeah, I feel like a uni student again. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have probably seen this as well. But because I knew it's about What's the time now? It's quarter past ten at night and I knew I wasn't going to be able to really like walk around late at night looking for food and I wanted to stay on plan. So what did I do? In my little case, my little weekend case, 12 kilogram suitcase, I packed some salad, tomato, jacket potato and three boiled eggs with the, um, the shell on. So they stayed like perfect. So yeah, I'm an absolute genius there. I don't know if that's a bit sad or genius, but yeah. Meal prepped, um, I'm going to eat that, chill out, take my makeup off and get ready and probably have an early night's sleep. Morning guys, so I had a lovely night's sleep, sound like a baby to be honest with you. Um, I'm still in Edinburgh, in my little room, excuse the rubbish bin there, it's rather attractive. But the plan for today is I'm going to be going around the town a bit this morning, like doing the like unexciting stuff like getting some lunch and mooching around. Um, I'm out tonight but I'm basically going to be doing a walking tour of Edinburgh this afternoon so probably going to get a McDonald's just because that's all I fancy, have a mooch, um, do the walking tour around Edinburgh and then slowly make my way back so yeah. Right, so where I'm staying is literally like the perfect location because I've got a costa next door so tomorrow morning I can have a coffee um, and there's a Tesco like literally right across the road like if you're ever a student and you're in Edinburgh like I'd probably say like you need to get in these halls um, but yeah I basically got some breakfast biscuits just so I've got something I can quickly nibble on some fruit, some raspberries, obviously they're Scottish because I'm in Scotland and for my tea later, because I'm going to have a McDonald's for lunch, I've got the sweet chilli chicken noodle salad. Um, just because I really like this meal. And it's a meal deal, so even better. So yeah, I'm going to quickly have a biscuit and then make a move.
you know exactly who that car belongs to? Um, would anyone like to guess? Yes, exactly. <laughs> the Minister of St. Giles. Um, actually, Carl, if someone gets into the car and then you ask them, uh, why, why do you even always park on the grave of John Knox? Don't you know this is the grave of John Knox? And the minister answered in a typically Scottish way. He, he said, well, sure, I know this is the grave of John Knox. Um, but firstly, this is the parking spot that's always open, which is true. Um, and secondly, he said, um, if you had the choice, wouldn't you want to park on your boss's grave as well? And so I only ever parked on this parking spot, even if other parking spots are free. And I guess as the founder of the Protestant church, um, John Knox is kind of his boss. Um, but that's Corner, um, exactly like Weasley's with yeah. Weasley's, uh, we went to the Harry Potter books. Um, and strategically, as of this year, you can shop for once in the original um, Diagon Alley. Two Harry Potter shops opened in, uh, up in the street this year, um, so that's great to go with it. Um, on that side of the street, on this side, that's also the museum context. Um, that's actually one of my favorites because even if you're not in need of one, um, it's lots of fun just going through those shops, looking at all the magical items inside the shop. Um, on the second Tom Riddle's grave, but, um, just because uh, obviously the comment type of children has been and um the but they're fine with us explaining to those who want to have a look at it. done with the talk now guys and the tour which was really good um, it was the Sandemans free tour of Edinburgh Old Town um, learned a lot from it really interesting good value for money and I'm just basically walking back to my little home away from home now morning guys so it's my last day in Edinburgh went out last night got in about three o'clock put a bit of makeup on though so I look fairly sane so I think I might be going for lunch today with Becca and I'm gonna get a coffee literally there's a Costa next door which is perfect so yeah I'm gonna enjoy today have a lazy Sunday and then get my flight back home
everyone so it's now the weekend after edinburgh um excuse the slightly wet hair i've just literally had my hair cut um but i realized that i didn't film an outro for this video um so yeah i absolutely loved edinburgh um really cheap really easy to get around the people are lovely um there's so much history as well so i'd love to go back um i'd also highly recommend the free tour of edinburgh so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and a like and i'll see you next week bye guys